the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones and a Song of Ice and Fire video. Alright my friends, in this video I will be discussing HBO's $30 million failure. Some of you may or may not know this, but before HBO started filming House of the Dragon, there was another show they were developing that was also set within George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire universe. Is this, can I ask, one, one of the HBO shows in development? Can you tell us about any of those by the way? Blood Moon is wrapped. Something, hasn't I, it? I, I can't. Uh, Go on. There's probably an HBO agent in the, <laughs> in the auditorium even now. Um, I can say, as I have said before, we, we started out with a number of different ideas, all of them prequels. Um, one show, uh, which I've been calling The Long Night, but HBO keeps saying it's not titled yet. So the show that's not called The Long Night uh, <laughs> yet, has just finished uh, filming up in Belfast and is now in, in other places, not just Belfast, Italy as well. And uh, Jane Goldman is the writer and the showrunner on that. Uh, you, you've probably be, been familiar with her work. She uh, was the script writer on several of the um, X-Men movies. She did Kick-Ass and she did the, um, the Kingsman, both Kingsman uh, things she, she scripted. Neil Gaiman's uh, Stardust, so she's a very experienced uh, screenwriter, <coughs> and she's done this story, and it is set, you know, 5,000 years in the past of Westeros, so way, way, way before the events of Game of Thrones, and that, that's the one that is uh, furthest along at the moment, and it's in pre-production, and right now it's just a pilot, but it, it's got uh, Naomi Watts in it, starring, it's got Miranda Richardson, a lot of other very uh, exciting actors, and uh, we'll probably be finding out in the next couple of months whether HBO is actually going to order full, the full series of that. That is very. And exciting. meanwhile, we have two other pilots that are also in active development at some stage, and hopefully, uh, in the near future, one or both of them will be uh, greenlit to shoot a pilot. That's right, folks. Before House of the Dragon, there was The Long Night, a series that would have been set in Westeros focusing on the Starks of Legend as well as the origin story of the White Walkers. The Long Night would have been set thousands of years before the main events in Game of Thrones. Now, I don't know about all of you, but I was very excited for this show. As a matter of fact, I would still rather see a show about The Long Night rather than one about the Dance of Dragons, but maybe that's just me. I've always been far more interested in the legends and the mysteries of the North, like the founding of House Stark and what I believe is their connection to the White Walkers and the Night's King. I was actually devastated when I found out this show would no longer be moving forward. This happened even after they already made their first episode, but I don't think we ever actually found out why this show about the Long Night was ultimately shut down. Well, thanks to James Andrew Miller's new book, some new information has been revealed about what happened behind the scenes at HBO during their ruthless pursuit of new frontiers. During an interview with James Andrew Miller, Warner Media's chairman, Bob Greenblatt, revealed what happened with the cancelled Game of Thrones show. He said they had spent over $30 million on a Game of Thrones successor show that was in development when I got there. And when I saw a cut of it after a few months after I arrived, I said to Casey, this just doesn't work, and I don't think it delivers on the promise of the original series. And he didn't disagree, which was actually a relief. Now, this obviously sounds a little vague, but it seems like the Long Night series did not have that look and feel of a Game of Thrones caliber show. What is most shocking about these developments is the fact that they shelled out over $30 million for this one episode, only for it to get shut down anyway. Some of you may not know this, but the same thing nearly happened when Dan and Dave made their first episode for Game of Thrones. HBO almost shut everything down before Game of Thrones even got off the ground, but Dan and Dave were given a second crack at it, and during their second attempt, they obviously got it right. And as we all know, Game of Thrones went on to become one of the most successful shows in television history. Now, for HBO to hand over $30 million for the pilot episode of The Long Night and still shut it down anyway lets me know that it must have been really awful. Just to give you an idea of how much that actually is, HBO only spent about a third of this on the original pilot for Game of Thrones. 
Think about it this way, the entire budget for all of Season 8 was roughly $90 million, and that had massive battles like the Battle of Winterfell, as well as King's Landing. That's $90 million for 6 episodes, whereas HBO handed over $30 million for the Long Night episode that will never see the light of day. That's absolutely insane. In this interview, Bob Greenblatt goes on to say, We unfortunately decided to shut down the successor show about the Long Night. He said there was enormous pressure to get it right, and I don't think that show would have worked. The pilot episode of the unreleased Game of Thrones series was filmed in Northern Ireland back in 2019, but it was ultimately shelved. However, HBO did announce that a separate show, the upcoming Game of Thrones House of the Dragon, had been given the green light. Now, at the time of these announcements, no further details were given about the cancelled show, but now it looks like it was a very expensive mistake for HBO. However, things are said to be going well in the developmental phase for House of the Dragon. Greenblatt also said, I'm the one who encouraged KC to greenlight the series. He said, let's not risk $30 million on one episode. We can't spend $30 million on a pilot just for it not to get greenlit. Let's not do it that way this time. Let's get a great show that we feel good about and just make it or not. So this is exactly why House of the Dragon was immediately given a full series order right after the Long Night series was officially shut down. Let's just hope this means they actually followed through with what they had in mind. Let's hope this means they actually feel really good about House of the Dragon, since they did not order a pilot episode, but instead ordered the entire first season. Now we will just have to wait and see exactly how good it actually is when it airs on HBO Max next year. We should see that first episode somewhere around April. As always, make sure you subscribe now if you want to stay up to date on any and all information regarding Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon, or anything else set within the A Song of Ice and Fire universe. There will be more videos very soon. I want to thank all of you for stopping by to watch this one. I hope everyone has a great day. I will be seeing you again very soon. Bye.